hello and welcome everyone so in our previous video we saw we have made a video or a progress uh, until we have made a numpad for the door opening and closing simulation as now if i run my program i saw uh, i can retain the values that i have entered or press these buttons so now the next thing is or the next stage in this simulation is we want to uh, create a lock basically so that it can be compared so i will just uh, create a string uh, constant in which i can simply set my password is one two three four now i want to compare my values with this string function or the output so that it can compare whether the lock is entered correctly or not so after setting uh, my password then now i can use a uh, um, now I can use this uh, sometimes <laughs> case structure and uh, in this section I can set my um, slider values as 0 to 100 so right now if I go back I can set it as constant in the form of true when it when this value matches I can say it is 100 and when its value is not matches uh, then it is its value is zero similarly we can also hear the uh, input output function of this string as door open or close so i'll press like create a constant and put it inside of this false function and let's just say door is closed and uh, if i just press in here and let's say door open all right so let's just check this out so right now if i just uh, run my program if i enter door is closed all right door is closed door is closed uh, i must also have to show it as well uh, like stop my program and uh, make it normal display so again if i run my program one two three and four as soon as I press 4 the door is open but right here our OK function is not working so we must have to include this OK button as well so for that purpose let's just say check our what is the label of this OK button so it is basically OK button 2 the label says that OK button 2 so OK button 2 is here so what we do is we will use the AND gate so that both values should be pressed and then only uh, the password should work all right and then again we can press this clear out function it will clear our whole uh, vi make it best possible structure uh, so that there will be minimum uh, wire clutters as well so now if i run my program as you can see one two three four and when i press ok i saw the door is still closed but why because in password there is minus one is generated how this minus one is generated in password since we didn't use any minus one in here so basically what uh, the problem is in here in um, the search one d array function because when we press ok button we are not pressing from the numpad like from uh, 1 to 10 or uh, 0 to 9 and then if there is no index is found in this 1d array search 1d array function then it automatically generate minus 1 so which is read by this numeric to string function and then it is added to this password or in the form of the string so to remove that uh, part we need to make some changes uh, let's just say we have to introduce a case structure in here and then within the case structure what we will do is we will remove this minus one so so for removing minus one we will go to string functions and find out search and replace string so what we want to search right now here is we want to search the minus one basically so minus one and then replace it with the constant or empty string so that uh, every time minus one will be appeared and it will be uh, replaced with uh, a min uh, replaced with uh, an empty string so that the password will be basically retained 
so we can just make the output here and uh, as in the uh, case of true function and the empty string will be sent so but this um, this ok button or two or the ok button will not be connected with this instead what we will do is uh, we will connect with our clear because the problem is uh, even if we press ok or clear button the only response we will get in the form of minus one so instead of this ok button i will connect a, this case structure with the ok button 12 which is our clear button function which means that if we want to press clear uh, when we know that the password is wrong we will also want to press this clear button then the password will be removed and you can again enter the, your password so in this case we will be using this and after that uh, this uh, output password uh, will go to here it will show me an empty string and in the case of false it will just pass my values and also one more thing is before running our program after making this false uh, case when the pass values and in the true function there will be an empty string so the string should not be connected in here to compare the password so string should be after this case structure so i can just grab a string from here and then connect it with my equals to function remove the broken wires by pressing ctrl plus b and again by making our uh, block diagram look more uh, better and now you can see it properly now if i jump back to my program if i press this run button one two three four and then press ok the door is open and if i press clear button the door is closed now the only thing that remains is this search bar function button so before doing that i will be using creating some local variables to start our starting value as uh, initial values at our initial values let's just say create a const create a local variable so these are just defined that we are just defining in our other programming languages as the initials as the zero so we can in our this lab view programming we can do it in at, at any time so the door is closed is our initial value and as for the password create again a local variable in here so this the password will be nothing here so the last thing that we want to show is is the password as the form of the static or password in the form of uh, the actual values so the search button remains in here so first thing we will do is we will go to edit events handled by this case and add an event uh, which will be our search button so now this event structure will be happening or will be uh, will start when any of these button from this add uh, or from from this cluster will be pressed or or the other button the search button it will be pressed so for that purpose we will just uh, create um, our property node named as value and then there will be disabled key skip and uh, visible instead of what i want is display style basically so here i can place a display style and change it to right and there i can use a case selector here so in our case selector we can set its value uh, like what will be the its displaying format so as you can see if i just jump back to my password function we can see here there's like this normal display course display password display and hexadecimal display so in our normal display is zero and our password display is like zero one and two so the our password display will be the format two so i can set if it is uh, our we will press uh, our search button then it will be zero otherwise it will be two and we must have to set this property as well as the initial state in as well so we will create a constant in here as a2 
so now if i run my program if i entered anything now it is in the form of static only if i press this uh, search bar button then only i can see this as a password now if i just press ok and then you can see the door is open so that's how this program works